when he heard that a visitor to the holy mountain was impressed with the different books the monks read, St. Siloan said, Our monks not only read these books, but could themselves write their like. Monks do not write because there are masses of fine books which satisfy them. But if these books were to somehow or other disappear, then the monks would write new ones. During his long life on Mount Athos, St. Siloan encountered numerous great ascetics, some of whom had experienced the states described by many of the grand ascetics, such as Isaac of Syria, Makarios the Great, and others, so that what he said seems quite natural. This echoes the words of the Apostle John, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. We may also remember St. Peter's words, For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased, we heard this voice borne from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain. And we have the prophetic word made more sure. You will do well to pay attention to this, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Three of the fathers were in the habit of going to see Blessed Abba Antony each year. Two of them would ask him about Logismi, or thoughts, and the soul's salvation, but the third always remained silent, saying nothing. After some considerable time, Abba Antony said to him, Look, you have been coming here for such a long time, and you ask me nothing. In reply he said to him, It is enough for me just to see you, father. So too for us. Seeing the face and hearing the voice of one who has attained the prayer of the heart can be more valuable than much reading about the subject. <laughs>